Hello, welcome to the Woodford Community Centre, home of Woodford players. In this video, I'm going to share with you a handful, probably about 12, of my favourite theatre photos that I have created here for Woodford players. I'm down here today because uh, there's a, an event going on tomorrow all about things happening in Woodford and I've been asked to put a display of my, uh, my theatre photos up and while I was doing it I thought I'd like to just share with you some of the images that I've created and perhaps bring out some of the theatre photography techniques as I go through them. But first of all, I've got to go and get the display sorted out. So, let's get going at the theatre! I've just taken a break from uh, putting the, the display up and come outside. You can see behind me they're currently setting up the, the marquee for uh, tomorrow's event. And let's just have a look at some of the images I've created here uh, for Woodford players. So here we have the, uh, the very first image and it's the, the first play I actually photographed for them. It's a, a production of David Copperfield. Now the set was divided into two halves. You've got the boathouse on one side and basically other areas on the other side. And I, I really wanted to select this one as a favourite because of the lighting. Uh, the lighting is key to photography, even more so with theatre photography. And we can see here we've got those uh, contrasting colours of blue and gold together and this is the, uh, uh, the little boat house and the, uh, the, the, the group on stage. Now it's not a particularly inventive shot uh, but I, I, I think it's, it deserves a place in my, uh, my list of favourites. <laughs> Uh, it captures the scene. It's a straight-on shot, which I, I try not to do, but sometimes you just need the odd straight-on shot. But it is just focused in on that half of the stage. Now let's move on to the, the next one. Now, this was a, a couple of plays later. This was Dick Martin's Special Agent. And this one really does deserve to be on the list of favourites and uh, my best shots for, for Woodford players. This is um, uh, uh, Tom who's um, playing one of the, uh, the roles in the play and what's unusual about this shot is I've got my back to the stage. It's a, a really weird situation. It was one where um, the, the actor came through the audience and did a bit in front of the stage and I had my back to what was going on, it was dress rehearsal of course, and I was suddenly aware he was behind me, I, I turned around with the camera and because of where I was I got the full beam of the, uh, the light that was uh, on him, the spotlight on him, straight into camera, you can see that, and that's given a, a lovely sort of silhouette effect uh, with the image and you can see Tom is outlined on there we've got the light in there and it's those kind of shots which I really like with theatre work because it gives you a view that the audience doesn't get and I think that's important with theatre photography because people are going to look at the images at the end of the show perhaps on their way out and they what you want to do is to try and give them a different perspective on what they've just seen. So this one really speaks to me, um, it really sums up the mood of that particular scene and of course the audience will never have seen that particular perspective on it. The next, this image wasn't taken here at the community centre, it was a promotional image for Talking Heads. If you look, you might see somebody you recognise on there. I'm in the foreground. I was playing the Alan Bennett role of uh, Graham in A Chip in the Sugar. Uh, the other two characters come from, from A Lady of Letters and from Her Big Chance. And because we hadn't started rehearsing at this stage, we hadn't got the costume sorted out, what I 
said was let's get the three of us together let's all dress in black i'll light it with a black background and do the lighting accordingly you'll notice plenty of rim lighting going on there and just to sum up our characters rather than using costume we each have an appropriate prop so lady of letters we've got uh, the letter paper and pen but her her big chance which is all set in the film industry uh, we've got the clapperboard and myself as the uh, pseudo alan bennett character i've got a cup of tea so we did that now how did i set the shot up with me in there well the way i did that is i had somebody sit in for me while i got all the lighting right and, and got those shots and then once i was happy with that uh, he left the scene and I sat in and we just triggered the uh, uh, the shot on a, a remote timer. So that was uh, Talking Heads. I, I really do like that sort of little setup that we've got there. The positionings, the triangular shape of it, the use of the props. Now, here's a fun one. This is uh, from Calendar Girls. And the reason I select this as a favourite is not because of the lack of clothing, honest. It's because it's an iconic shot. One of the iconic uh, promotional images for uh, Calendar Girls, which you'll see around a lot, is the, the girls, the ladies, um, surrounding uh, a, a piano. And within the play, you have them setting up that shot. And what's fun about it in the play is another character who's a very, um, let's say a very conservative uh, character, walks in on them and is absolutely shocked at what's going on. And you can see there Heather on the, um, uh, the left-hand side uh, looking suitably uh, shocked at, uh, at the scene that's going on there. And it is one of the favourites. It is also an image that although i created it and i printed it i never put it on display during the performance of the of the play but we've used it as a, a retrospective image uh, in subsequent years and that's another important factor with uh, theatre photography sometimes you're creating images not to go on display during the play but to use in displays in the future and this was one of them so before I go on and talk about some more images, I guess I really ought to get back and do some more work on my display. And I'll uh, come tell you about some of the others I've selected. Right, I've snuck out again. I want to tell you about uh, the next set of images. And uh, this next set all come from one play called Agnes of God. And the primary image I want to tell you about is this one. And this uh, again is a publicity uh, image and again shot in the studio. But the reason I wanted to talk about this was some of the techniques involved in creating it. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Agnes of God. It's a play I directed and it's the story of um, an innocent nun who has given birth to a child but she doesn't know really enough about life about sex where did the child come from things like like that um, uh, and one of the things about the character and her innocence is she has the the stigmata which is the uh, um the the marks of the nails um on her hands and so we wanted to create that as part of the uh the the publicity image because it's something that's created in the within the play but in the play we ha we can't do it particularly graphically we can show it uh, but we've got to make sure that we don't get the blood on the costume but i wanted to make it much more obvious for the poster but again, I got the problem of not wanting to get blood on the poster. So how did we create the shot? Well, first of all, I got the actor in costume, Emma, who came to the studio with the outfit, and we did the, the basic shot. I lit it 
uh, with this light from behind to give this sort of ethereal effect to it and her hands outstretched with no blood on them at all. That was the shot that we created and you can see that uh, here on the screen. That's what the actual image looked like. So how did we get the blood on there? How did we create that? Well, what we did, because we didn't want to run the risk of getting blood on the, uh, the costume, Emma changed back to her normal clothes, her daytime clothes, and I made up some fake blood, which is using a mixture of natural sol and red paint. And then I photographed her uh, with that blood dripping out of her hands. And I took various images. In fact, most of it comes from the shot that you can see on the screen. If you look at those uh, drips of blood that she's pouring out of her hands, those are the ones I transferred onto the other shot. So we've got that red on the, the palm of the hands, the, the blood dripping, and I just added in, in Photoshop, the black marks uh, as though there's actually a hole in the hand as well. So that's how we created the image. What did it look like in the play? Well, a little bit different. I can't show you a shot of the stigmata in the play, but I can show you this image. Uh, the play was shot in the round, and this one's really worth commenting about because it uh, highlights the technique of keeping the empty seats out of shot in um, uh, a production in the round. It was at dress rehearsal and you, can, you can't you can see any of the audience seats. Some are hidden by uh, the two nuns, some are hidden in darkness and that gives the, the impression that this was taken during the performance when in fact it wasn't. Now the uh, the lady you saw playing the Mother Superior in there, that was the nun in black, is this woman, Carol Sutcliffe, who went on to appear in um, uh, a play called Quartet, which is uh, about a, a group of retired actors who uh, at a retirement home end, on, end up putting on a play um, and putting on a performance. And as part of this, her character learns about using a Walkman uh, to, uh, to listen to music. And we've got this lovely scene, wonderful expressions from Carol, uh, where she's listening to music. And that's what I've managed to capture. Now, when you're doing theatre photography, it's important to get these character shots where you're, you've just got the expression of the person, tight shot in on them, uh, and to get that real mix of images uh, in there. Uh, so this is one of my favourites, uh, lovely expression, uh, very shallow depth of field as part of it. Talking about expressions, this next play, uh, which is Someone to Lo Watch Over Me by uh, Frank McGuinness, is about three people who are held hostage in a Middle Eastern country and they're chained to um, a railing throughout the whole play. And it's all about their relationship and the things they do to um, stop themselves going mad. Um, and I think in this particular scene, they were pretending to be flying chitty chitty bang bang or something like that. But the expressions of the two characters are waving. And now this image really works because we've got those lead-in lines from the hands leading you into the image to their expressions. I've also given a, a slight tilt to the camera and uh, that again just makes the image that little bit more interesting. The Dutch angle, the quirky angle that I, I like to incorporate into my, uh, my photography. Right, I'd better go and finish that display off and then um, hopefully I'll have the chance to tell you about my, my last few selections. So, see you later. the images put on the display so let's uh, go through the remaining images that I've selected for this uh, uh, 12 best of Woodford players. Well this next one is from a play called Celebration and it's 
a scene of the whole set. And I think it's important with theatre photography to, to get that selection. We've already looked at how important it is to have the individual character shots. It's also important to make sure you get images that cover the entire stage. So this is one, but what makes this particular shot work is the fact that there are so many people on stage and they're all in their own individual groupings. They're all doing different things. So it's, it's really interesting for the eye to sort of scan through and to pick out the, uh, the conversations, the bored people, uh, the, uh, the people watching what's going on. And it helps tell the story. It also means that I've made sure I've captured everyone who's in the play, actually all in one shot. And that's uh, always something you have to make sure. I once got in trouble of an actress um, who had a reasonable part in a play. I did the display and I realized once I'd put it up that there wasn't a single shot with her in it uh, on the display. And uh, I had to go away and get another one printed because she wasn't happy. Uh, moving on. What you can see now is from Stepping Out. Stepping Out by Richard Harris is all about um, a group of amateur tap dancers, all female except one man. And it's all about the relationships, the stories of the individual characters. But the finale of the, of the whole production is when they do a tap dance routine. And obviously I've got to capture that. And again, this is an image which I can't, think I put on display, but one that we use uh, afterwards to represent that play. And one of the reasons I like it, apart from the colours on there, is the fact that everyone is in exactly the same position, which brings out the fact that the Whilst we can't capture the movement in a still image, obviously, um, by getting them all in exactly the same pose shows just how the whole team was in, was in sync with each other when they were performing this scene. And again, you've got the use of that, that Dutch angle, that quirky angle on there, just to add an extra little bit of interest uh, to the shot. Now, moving on to Alan Akebourne's uh, Season's Greetings. Again, this is a, a real favourite of mine. And what's unusual about this is something that you possibly don't even think about with theatre photography it's shot with a very wide angle lens. Uh, the stage here um, at Woodford is raised up. It's probably about two and a half, three feet off the ground, which means I can easily get at stage level with my camera. And this little toy, which is quite significant in the play as it uh, goes off and starts banging its drum at the most inappropriate of moments, uh, was on the edge of the stage and John, the actor, was coming to try and get hold of it and silence it, I seem to remember. And I came in really, really close with a wide angle lens, which gives this wonderfully distorted view where the, the key feature of it is the toy in the foreground, John's reaction, but also you can see not only the stage behind, but you can actually see all the way up into the light. So it, it gives us a, an interesting shot and an unusual perspective on what is one of the funny scenes within the play. So, uh, so that was that one. That's why I chose it. And now moving uh, to the end here, uh, this is a scene from a play, um, uh, Bothered and Bewildered. It's, about a woman who's suffering from dementia and some of the scrapes that she gets herself into and the impact it has on her family. Now this is a scene, uh, a night scene within the play where the daughter of the, uh, the character I'm talking about is having to go outside at night trying to find her mum. And I've, I select this as one of my, uh, my favourites because the lighting on there. Now, it was Terry Pratchett in one of his books that described about uh, well, film lighting or theatrical lighting. There has to be enough light to be able to see the dark. And the way we achieve that in theatre is usually with blue lighting. And so it's given it a natural monochrome effect. Now that's purely done with the, uh, the stage lighting. 
but I've selected this not just because of that but because of the expression uh, on the actor's face that worried look as she's searching her, for her mum you'll notice I've pushed her over to to one side just off center um, and sort of golden ratio um, sort of position off to one side and I just think it really sort of sums up the the scene and it's part of what the play is about is the effect it has on people so it's an important uh, story element uh, for the for the play and then finally i just want to leave you one which is um it's not really in the in the 12 it's a bonus image it comes from uh, the first play i directed which i directed here it was uh, agatha christie's witness for the uh, prosecution and it's a behind the scenes shot we do have to look after the uh, the costumes including the wigs, which need feeding on a regular basis. I hope you found this look through images uh, from uh, my time shooting here at Woodford helpful. I hope it's given you an uh, a behind the scenes look as to what theatre photography is all about. And those of you who do theatre photography, I hope it's inspired you. So thanks for watching. I've got another video all about the secrets of theatre photography. That's on the screen here. There's a playlist of other videos there. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, keep making great photos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.